Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the YouTube account and we are in 50-49 and we're gonna run this guys until we get done with chapter 50, that's right. Could take a couple hours, could take a couple minutes, but we are going to run through here. I talked to Trisha today. She was running this formation, um, or he was running this formation um, through everything, just kind of a variation. Super, super strong, guys, especially because of the crowd control and then the buffs that Damia got. Works incredibly well. Um, Trisha also said that this ran through all the rest of these stages, guys, that this was the go-to formation in here. And again, looking at the build, looking at the heroes in here, I can see exactly why this is such a strong formation. But again, changing up not so much the formation, but where they're at in the formation. And this one has Geralt. Now, I was pretty shocked when I seen this one. I'm just kind of looking at Geralt. Pretty interesting in here. Um, now, I did build him out because I do love the Witcher, one of my absolute favorite characters. Even watching season three right now on Netflix, I'm super disappointed with how they built him. I, I do not like the build in here. I don't know many players that use him at all, which kind of sucks because again, I, I love the show. I love the hero. But again, look at that, guys. We even have him built out. We have the plus 30 signature item. We have the nine of nine furniture. We also do have the engraving on the hero and still nothing is becoming of him, which again, kind of stinks. So we have three boss stages to get through in here as well, which means we're probably going to see more of the thorn cheese, I'm assuming. And we're also probably going to see a lot more of the Charmizard. When you start getting to five teams, guys, that is what players are running. That is a majority of these formations that we've seen that are making progression in here. Because again, we've said this before, you either have two options here. It's going to be the Charmizard. It's going to be the thorn cheese um, within these formations or... The other one is really, really leveling and leveling up a ton. That is the, the only other option within these formations, guys, is you're you're going to have to super over level to get these, these stages done. Or again, it's going to be the point where it's going to be the levels or it's going to be the heroes. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And even this one, guys, we almost got completely done right there. I know Hendrik did a little bit of shielding, but Zorath is really strong, guys. Zorath in these formations, if you have Zorath built out, which I believe I have him at a plus 30 signature item right now, um, puts out a ton of damage. Zorath does put out an incredible amount of damage if I can protect him in this formation. And again, I don't know if he's going to be able to get through both those heroes, but of course we do have the rewinds. So as soon as Zorath, if he is the last one that dies, and of course we got the, the rewind in there, but it looks like Hendrik... Just kind of crowd controlled everyone. It, it looked like he um, did his ability on the his own team, which again, we know there's an RNG aspect in here, guys. Even Tamaris is pulling everyone together. So Mahira can mesmerize everyone. Again, it, it's a pretty interesting, again, kind of a build dynamic in here. But we'll get it done. We will get it done. Like I was saying earlier, um, it, it might take some while. It might take a while to get this done, but we need to. We, we need to get on to the next stage. And of course, we have the seal in here, guys. The seal does a ton of damage in these formations, which is really cool to see. And also a lot of players say, you know, this is even way more RNG than we see from the Thorn Cheese. A, a lot of players have said, and I know Javid has stressed this a lot, that this formation is infinitely more RNG and more um, kind of random than we see with the Thorn Cheese itself. But again, there's Hendrik with the ultimate ability. Have to get Athalia. I'm assuming to alt on her own team. I'm assuming. Um, because that would make a difference. And I don't think they alt. But I know that bleed effect in there does make a big difference. 50-52, guys. We got eight stages to get through in here. Come on, there's the charm. Athalia takes down targets really fast. And again, Damon's another one. If Hendrik shields Damon, um, Damon is really hard to kill with the scaling aspect that he possesses. We know, of course, Hazard goes down pretty quick right there. Boom, we got a double charm. Need to get Zorath out there, which we do. There we go. Got it down. Knew it was going to take a little bit, but we get the victory right there, guys. Then, of course, the cheese with Hendrik. We know there's going to be a teleport. Boom. Thorn cheese retaliation number one. And then he's up again for another retaliation. 
gets it done first try. Look at that, guys. That is why we've talked about it before with the thorn cheese, guys. That was the very, very first try. Now, this one, of course, is going to be the Lucretia buff. Everybody gets petrified when Granite dies, giving Lucretia free reign to just crush it, guys. I am still shocked with the amount of utility that hero does still have. All Negrez, again, Trisha going to the old school formations, guys, of the All Negrez. This, of course, just buying time for Oden and Scarlet to alt, as well as Solus to keep everybody up in this formation. And Scarlet does so much damage so fast. That is the reason why this works so incredibly well. This one should be pretty easy, guys. Got to get down the big meatball down here, which we do. And then, of course, the Thorin. One more time. There we go. Boss stage complete. Let's look at the damage in here. First one, of course, look at that. It's crazy that Damia is putting out that much damage, which, again, is awesome to see. Zolrath, 20 billion in there. Thorin, she's 193. 229. That's right, guys. Lucretia broke the 229 billion damage within there. Again, bringing us to the boss stages. And we're just going to continue with this copy, guys. We know the REM formation works incredibly well, which, again, we have Geralt in here. Still, again, a little bit shocked. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe Trisha has Geralt built out a lot more than I do. We'll have to look next time. Because again, I, I don't see a, a, a ton of effectiveness with the hero in here. But I want to see if Trisha went the E60 with Geralt, which there is. Oh, Geralt's not in this one. That's okay. We got we got Brutus in this one. Brutus, of course, guys, we pull in the SPF the SP effect. Um, Brutus is a monster. Brutus is super difficult to kill, provides a lot of crowd control and formations. Um, and again, makes the formations running through here with these camps pretty easy. Very, very easy, which again, I do not see Geralt in there. That's who I'm looking for. Wanted to see if we did see Geralt. And again, guys, pet wise, um, the slumbering seal is broken. We, we've said this, the Slumbering Seal is kind of the, the sixth hero that you have in a team because when you get the Slumbering Seal built up to a certain point, and I know a lot of players that are power leveling the Seal to 18, um, it, it's broken with how much damage that, that the Seal puts out, which is cool. It, it's very cool to see. There we go, guys. First one is going to be the Thorn Cheese. Let's see if we can get lucky with this one. Retaliation coming up. Boom. Retaliation number two. Took a lot of damage there. Gonna have to see because Orthos is really, really tough. Now you'll also notice in here, guys, with this Thorn Cheese, we do not have a pet. So again, some of the pets, some of the builds in here can actually throw off the Thorn Cheese. We, we see it with the, the weapons and the armor in here. We also do see, again, a couple formations that are thrown off based on the Thorn Cheese. And again, I think Orthos, this is going to be a tough one. And I'm surprised the Thorn Cheese worked with this one. I, I am honestly pretty, pretty shocked, but I want to see it work. Because again, I feel like that, that ult, the Orthos ult is going to result in, in what we're seeing right here. But I feel like we need, we need a good crit in here. Let me look at some of the other formations. We will attempt this one more time. There it is, retaliation. Boom. Again, Orthos not even getting close. Being killed. Let me look at the builds that we had on here. That was it, guys. It was just a straight, straight formation. But let me look a little bit down, further down here. 731, still running that Thorn Cheese. All right, here's 751 with, with Ram. 751, we're on 769. With having these heroes built, guys, I think this is going to work, and I don't know if that was also pre damia being buffed. Got to have Rem alt. There we go, guys. Rem again putting out monster, monster damage. And a lot of the heroes in here we have built. That's one of the reasons why I can kind of uh, utilize a lot of these formations is most of these we have built, guys. Even there, there's the All Negrez again, which we know does work incredibly well. Now, I don't have Aziz built. This might make a big difference in this formation, not having that awakened version of Aziz. But remember, also, we can still get that SP effect. Doesn't look like it's going to be an issue at all, guys. 
Again, it's going to be hero builds or it's going to be levels. Those are the two biggest factors within this game mode. Look at this. The Amelia Freeze 5 pull. Boom. What a cool build that is, guys. The, the, the Freeze 5 pull. That is awesome. Of course, we're gonna we're gonna have to get the the RNG factor of this. But look at the freeze five pull, guys. If we can get Queen to alt, there we go. If we can get Iran to alt, as soon as we get the crowd control up in here, guys, th there's so much crowd control that is going around this formation. That is a really really cool formation. So the delay of Zolrath, that the freeze with Amelia in there, that that's pretty cool. That is a pretty cool formation. Now this one, of course, is Belinda. All about the Belinda alt. And usually we got to have Leonardo um, alt as well because, of course, Leonardo is going to provide that crowd control aspect. Now we have Brutus in here. We have Granite, which means, boom, we're going to see the Petrify. Just need Leonardo. There's the alt. And, of course, that amplifies the damage for Belinda. Just got the tree left. There we go, guys. Almost goes down just like that. We're, we have one more formation in here. And, again, it is Kren and Brutus. Interesting. So boom, there we go. There's the buff up on Kren. Ultimate goes off. A lot of crowd control and a charm right there on Treznar. Which means, of course, we're going to lock everybody in the back. Kren going in for another alt right there. Look at that, guys. Getting it done with some unorthodox formations in there. Of course, this one, 97, 61 for Mulan. Pretty impressive there, 113. Look at that. Grez still tops the damage meter in there. Locked crowd control. Iran doing 70 billion. Boom, 163. And then in here, 120 from Kren. I don't even know personally the last time that I've used Kren. Um, that's been a while. That that has been a long while since I've actually used Kren um, within these formations. Boom, there's the crowd control. Now, always remember, guys, that crowd control also gives the energy regeneration, which makes Amelia broken. And look at that, guys. Two new subs already. Awesome to see. Equia and is is sad, I'm sad. Um, Two subs that we've already gotten since we've been uh, recording some videos today. Let's go ahead. Let's see if this is going to work. You know what? We'll run it. We didn't reset the formation, but we got the crowd control. Again, I'm hoping Damia. I'm hoping Rem. They, we didn't set it, so there might be... Oh, no! Matria gets it done, guys! The the revive. 50-59. Again, looking in here. Trisha is killing it. And it's got Naruko. Look at the tiny tank in the bottom with Nadia. Oh, let's see if this is going to work, guys. Looks like the team went down pretty quick there. I, I didn't even see the tiny tank in there when I started this. But let's see. Now, they might have been using the trial version, guys. My tank is not quite as built out. But there we go. We got an alt. Boom, a couple alts. Need Demia to alt. Yo, guys, tiny tank. Look at that. Let's see the damage that my tiny tank did. 49, 26 billion. So not too impressive, but look at the 81 billion. Bringing us, of course, to the final stage, guys. 50-60. Now, a lot of players were saying they were stuck on this formation. Looks like Mickey is here as well, or Mickey finished it. Mickey, Mickey finished it, but Mickey's 579. I might have to run in here. There's, look, still running Eins, guys. Eins is still in the formation. Now, my pets are a little bit higher than what we're seeing here, so we should have no problem. A little bit higher levels, a little bit higher pets. So I'm hoping for the final one. Mickey is going to pull this through, guys. Of course, Belinda's damage is kind of crazy. We're going to have to see, of course, the RNG aspect in here. Awakened version of Thane, the Awakened version of Belinda. And I don't know if it also chooses at this point the SP effect. Now, we knew originally the SP effect didn't apply when you copied formations. Um, I don't know if that has been corrected at this point. But Belinda is just crushing it, guys. The damage that she puts out is just absolutely crazy. Now, of course, this is the old school. We have Elbeto in here for the buffs. Boom. Crowd control goes up. Means Rem is going to ult fast, guys. Straight through those shields. Of course, look at that. 
Rem just crushed it. 14 seconds in that battle. It was already done. Brutus in here. And of course, running Ions. Very cool to see Yennefer with Ions together. Because remember, guys, um, Arthur's going to provide his aura. But Ions still puts out so much damage. It, it, I know it's kind of crazy to think. But Ions still a lot of utility. Also had the Slumber Seal in there. Works out well. Works out well in that formation. We have Baden in here. Alna Graz with Baden. I love it. That That is a pretty strong combination. And of course, Oden, still just a absolute rock star with the amount of damage mitigation and energy disintegration that he does. Works incredibly well. And they're just literally stacked on here waiting for Walker to die. And I believe we have one more, guys. This is the final one to conclude this chapter. Let's see if Lucretia can get it done. The Raku went down early in that one, but we still got Mishka. Lucretia went down. Let's see if we can clean this up, guys. Look at this. I think with the level deficiencies, if we can get through the Respins down here, and we did, we got through it. Boom, there is chapter 50, guys. It is completed in its entirety. This is by far, by far my fire. Uh, furthest to count 20 or 216 billion 100 billion right there 150 billion look at that still 94 billion putting up from Ains. still some pretty big numbers 86 from baden and then of course 153 from solace again a lot of players that say solace is not worth the build i do not agree with it guys i still find an incredible amount of utility with solace so let's go ahead to the next chapter we're going to move over to the Defiled Grave. That is right, guys. And here it is. Probably not going to see as many players in here. Mickey is crushing it up here, guys. As you can see, very, very cool. Let's collect up some of these diamonds in here. We get 20 red chests out of there. Tier 4 stones. 20 Stargazer cards. Tier 3 stones. Very cool to see, guys. We are sitting on 104,000 diamonds. But that will do it for today's video. That is right, guys. We are into Chapter 51 just like we wanted to be. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.